Hello everyone, welcome. This is Daisy. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to set up the printing preferences for sublimation printing. This tutorial is going to be short, but I am sure it's going to be helpful to you. These preferences are going to be set so you don't have to do this process every time you print. Let's start. To set up the printing preferences for sublimation printing, we're going to open the folder Printers and Scanners. If you cannot find it, go to the magnifying glass and type Printers and Scanners. And the folder will show up. Open it and you're going to see the list of printers you have installed in your computer. Select the one you need to set up today. I'm going to select my Epson sublimation printer 3760. Click and click on Manage. Then click Printing Preferences. This window will pop up. First, select the paper you're going to be printing more often. I'm going to select letter size because that is the size I will be printing most. In orientation, I am selecting portrait. If you wish to print landscape, we're going to set that up when printing. On paper type, I am selecting premium presentation paper matte. On quality, select high, so we get a good quality sublimation printing. Now let's go to more options. And this part is very important. We need to select mirror image. With sublimation, you must always mirror the design when printing, especially when you have text in your design. Then click OK. Then we're going to open the program we're going to use for printing. In this case, I'm going to use Inkscape. I'm going to print this design. It's in layers because I just designed it. Select all the layers and group. If you are working with Inkscape, go to Object and click on Group. Now we only have one layer. If you wish to learn how to create your own sublimation designs, I invite you to check on my tutorial of how to do it. I'm going to leave you the link in the video description. I'm going to print this design for a t-shirt. So I'm going to change the page orientation to print a bigger design. In Inkscape, go to File and click on Document Properties and this window will pop up. I will be printing on letter size, so I'm going to select letter size and on orientation, select landscape. Close the window and resize and center the design. If you wish to print with a specific measurements, you may change the size on the measurement bar above. This time I'm just trying to use the entire page and make a bigger design for a t-shirt. Now to print. Let's go to File and click on Print. Remember, we already set up the printing preferences for sublimation. So here you don't have to worry about changing the printing preferences again, unless you wish to change them for a specific design. There is one more thing that you can do when printing. This is optional. Go to more options. Here on color correction, click on custom and advance. Then you go to color control and here you may edit the colors. So this is the color of the original photo. 
So now if we edit the brightness and contrast or the density, the color over here is going to change. Let's put less brightness and a little bit of contrast. Less saturation and a little more density. This is just an example. And this is optional. You don't have to do this if you don't wish to. Also, you can edit here on this circle. So as you can see, the colors over here are totally different from the original photo. So if you're happy with these colors, you click OK. I'm going to cancel. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. But I just wanted to show you that this is another option for printing. So you may edit the colors too. For example, if the colors are pale, you may come to the color correction and fix them. I'm going to cancel and continue with the printing. And before you continue, double check and make sure the preferences are still the same. Now click print. If you're using Inkscape, this preview will pop up. Make sure it's in mirror mode and that the design does not get out of the page. Confirm and print. If you'd like to learn how to create sublimation designs, I invite you to check my video tutorial of how to create sublimation designs using Inkscape. Click on the eye above. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my video and press the notification bell. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.